It's like a thousand people going to the toilet at the same time. <laughs> and welcome back to another day in paradise. If you don't know me and haven't seen all these videos, I am currently setting up a fish room. Uh, we have large tanks. We have some new tanks. I finally have water in my new tanks. I just need to get fittings for them, but they are four foot by three foot by two foot. Uh, lots and lots of fish we have to sort out. But this video is about this rack. Can you call it a rack? This group of tanks. Group of tanks sounds better than a rack, doesn't it? But, sound like I said, a rack then. So these are gonna be for breeding fishes and probably L number plecos. I do have some really cool new caves turning up soon. So hopefully they'll turn up in the next week or so and we'll be able to sort them all out. But anyway, I have finally finished my plumbing. Haha. -ha. So all these tanks, there are 12 two foot tanks. They are connected to a six foot sump. Sorry about all the noise, I have stuff everywhere. Yes, we are going to pump the water from the sump into these little fittings here, and then I can adjust the flow on these. And the whole idea is the water is going to gently drip through in these, so I can have sponge filters. This is where my air is gonna be connected up. I have a big noisy air pump up there somewhere. Yeah, so the tubing will go there with all the filters. So, this is my first time plumbing up one of these, so I kind of screwed up a little bit. <laughs> with my pipes. I did want my pipes going into like a drain and then the drain pipe going into there. But because there was a great big pipe against the wall, it didn't really work. So I just have my overflows going all the way down to one of these, um, which is a clear pipe. And then the clear pipes are just sitting like that. So it's gonna be a pain. It is gonna be noisy. I'm probably going to join more pipe to that so it goes further down so there's no splashing and stuff like that and have lids. But at the moment, all we're gonna do is test it and see if it works. So hopefully my little pump will pump the water up there. It'll start going into all these tanks. We'll find out. I'm gonna turn it on. I've turned it on. Oh, we have water, we have water. Oh, okay. That might be a problem, but that's okay. Okay, so it looks like we have lots of water pumping to these tanks. Obviously no water pumping there because it's all going there, but that is why we have taps. So, oh my goodness. We want a slow trickle going through. So, as I turn all these down, because the one is of pressure, we have more water turning into these. And then, once this one's down, hopefully the pressure will be enough that it'll go up there. It may not. I need to turn these down more. <laughs> you can tell that I haven't done this before. Yeah, we really just need only trickle. Way too much water. Way, way too much. Oh. Ha ha. How good is that? It's working, my tiny little pump. How good is that tiny little pump? Oh look, we've got some leaves. <laughs> Leaf it alone. Yes, that is my tiny little pump there. That is working awesome. Technically, I'm probably gonna have too much pressure, but I will turn those down. I'm going to jump to it all working. Hopefully there won't be a hundred leaks in my fittings, but let's jump to that. And how good is that? Yay, it is working. It only took about half an hour to fill them up. I'm not gonna use this water in this because this is tap water, but I'm gonna dechlorinate it, alter the pH, and use that for water changes on the other systems. We're gonna use RO with this, gonna alter the reverse osmosis water so it's, yeah, the right pH and the right hardness um, so we can breed our L numbers and tetras and fun stuff. I think I still need to adjust the flow, obviously, and I might need some sort of cover on those because the whole idea was to drip it in, but I might need a little nozzly thing so it drips better because it's doing splash. <laughs> yes, and I might need to raise these pipes up here a little bit. Uh, I still haven't done, obviously, the air. I will be doing that. My water temperature out of the tap is surprisingly, what was that, 19.9. Oh, look at it flashing because of the camera thing. Well, this is my phone, but it's not actually flashing in real life. It's magical. But I don't think we have really any leaks. I think there might be a couple of little drop leaks in the joiners because I haven't glued any of the joiners together because I was like gluing so much stuff. I'm like, oh, I'll never use it again if I do that. So I thought if I reduce the flow, it shouldn't, you know, do its thing, do its leak. 
But otherwise, that's what it looks like under there. It's like a thousand people going to the toilet at the same time. <laughs> Sorry. But how good is that? Anyway, this is a quick update. The next update with this sort of system will be hopefully with cool caves and stuff in there and I'll pump the water from the other system into here start moving all the fish along really nice Corydoras and lots of cool L numbers I've had for years that I haven't bothered breeding the odd baby survived sort of thing but it'll be great to get back into that and they have been going for about the whole day and there's not really any leaks so that is wonderful news I do have my tubing <laughs> look at that uh rigged up so i have my bubblers going so i have a sponge filter in each one of these i still need to fiddle with more for the top and that um, but that is connected all the way up here to our battery air pump so this should last for about i think it's nine or 12 hours if the power goes off it's just acdc and it flicks over uh, i am going to move that air pump around here so it's going to be nice and easy to access and all that and that's why I've got my little my knobbly bits my knobbly bits are on this side so I'm not going to have a giant cable <laughs> but I just wanted to make sure that all my fittings were tight and everything like that so they are so wonderful wonderful fun uh, apart from that I think we're just about done with this I just need to put some more filter media down the bottom I need to stop the splashing because obviously it's a thousand people peeing. Yes, I know I've said that twice, but it's worth it to say it twice. Uh, yeah, so filter media in there. I might put a canister filter on it as well. Uh, the water's gonna pump for a UV, so each one of these tanks will have sterilized water going into them. And because the water's only trickling, the UV should zap most of the pathogens and nasty stuff and all that. So happy days. If you did like this video, click the thumbs up so I know. The next video about these tanks will start to pit the fish in them. So L numbers on that, just have to cycle the tanks, drain all this water, put the reverse osmosis water in it and fiddle with it. But in the meantime, I've got all these bigger tanks that I am about to set up, plumb them up to these two monster tanks so I can split some fish, move some stingrays into these and all that wonderful stuff. I keep saying wonderful stuff because it's wonderful stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.